Like the saying goes, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. In order to survive, animals have developed ways to defend themselves from predators, making them live for another day. Most of these defenses are just deterrents, giving attackers more of a nuisance rather than any real danger. While others can be downright deadly. Today we're going to take a look at the latter and discuss 10 deadly ways animals defend themselves. Number 10. Suicide Bombers. Ants are amazing creatures, if not annoying when they're in your house. They spend all of their lives in their colony, working together to ensure its success. Each ant has a specific purpose for which it was born for, one for which is to defend the colony from any and all enemies, and in the case of the Malaysian exploding ant, at even the cost of their own lives. On the outside, this tiny ant is just an inconspicuous brownish red ant. It lacks large mandibles, cannot sting, and generally seems like easy pickings for any predator looking for an easy meal. But when these ants feel threatened, they raise up their rumps as a warning. Then, if the would-be attacker, a much larger weaver ant, let's say, doesn't back off, one or more tiny ants bite down on it, angle their backsides in close, and flex so hard that their abdomens burst at the seams. By tearing themselves apart, the ants sacrifice themselves to protect the rest of the colony. When they explode, the ants unleash a secretion that is bright yellow, sticky, and toxic. Bad news for any predator who happens to catch a mouthful of it. Number 9. A gut full of toxins. Sea cucumbers are the least intimidating creatures you're ever going to see in your life. They usually lie motionless at the bottom of the ocean, content with filtering out tiny food particles floating around in the water, just living its pretty uneventful life. But if a sea cucumber is attacked, or at least feels threatened, it has all manner of defense mechanisms to ensure its survival. First off, they can change from a solid form to a liquid form, allowing them to escape into the tiniest of cracks. They can also disassemble themselves into many tiny pieces, fooling any would-be predator that they are already dead, then reassemble themselves again when the danger has passed. But their most impressive and deadly defense mechanism is the ability to expel their guts through their anus. This exposes their toxic intestines to the attacker, giving it a mouthful of poison as a fitting punishment for attacking this seemingly harmless creature. Number 8. A Deadly Coating of Poop One surefire way of making sure people don't come near you is by covering yourself in your own feces. Yeah, I know that sounds pretty gross, but I'm pretty sure that it would work. Although I've yet to meet anybody who has tried to do this just to avoid people. However, in the animal kingdom, many tiny critters use their feces to defend themselves from predators. Have you ever had a monkey throw its poop at you? That is one way to do it, but these tiny insects use poop very differently. The potato beetle loves its own feces, and it's not afraid to flaunt it. To defend itself from any would-be predator, it smears its feces all over its body. Kind of like a suit of armor, but poop. Aside from looking and smelling disgusting, there is another very lethal reason why animals avoid eating the potato beetle. The poop is poisonous. It just so happens that this beetle's favorite food is a plant called nightshade, an extremely poisonous plant. So, following the idea of you are what you eat, the feces of this beetle contains the toxins of the nightshade plant. To put it in perspective, chewing on a single leaf of this plant can effectively kill a person. But what if somebody ingests it in its concentrated potato beetle poo form? Well, it's not going to be a good day for anybody. Number 7. Weaponized Bones We humans have developed quite a number of ways to defend ourselves. First and foremost of these would be the creation, development, and use of weapons. Some animals have also gained the ability of using weapons, but since animals can't make their own weapons, some of them had to be very creative with it and use whatever is available to them. In the case of the next animal on our list, it's their bones. The Iberian ribbed newt has an amazing, if disturbing, way of dealing with predators. When threatened, the newt can push its ribs forward and through its stretched skin create defensive spikes. But not just any spikes, these ones are poisonous. While the attacker gets a mouthful of poisonous spines that cause severe pain or possibly even death, the newt itself experiences no significant negative effects from the gruesome strategy. It can perform this skin-piercing maneuver over and over again during its life and heal itself each time without problem. The hairy frog is also an animal that uses its bones as weapons. When threatened, the hairy frog's main defense is to crack its own finger bones, pierce them through the skin of their toe pads, and then use them as claws, thus giving it the nickname the Wolverine Frog. Number 6. Choke Artists Have you ever tried to eat something that looks good, but as soon as it enters your mouth, you couldn't spit it out fast enough? That's happened to me hundreds of times, and it's never a pleasant experience. 
The next entry on our list uses the same gag reflex to avoid being eaten, and sometimes even kills its unlucky attacker. The hagfish is one fish that you wouldn't want to put in your mouth. When threatened, the hagfish expels a thick slime that mixes with the water. The predator then needs to focus on escaping the gill-clogging goo. While the predator gags, the hagfish slips away. This slime is so thick and sticky that it clogs the gills of any predator, sometimes with fatal results. This slimy ability is also quite effective. Some scientists obviously with a lot of time on their hands observed hagfish being attacked in the wild. Out of 14 observed attempts for predators to prey on a hagfish, not a single one was successful. The hagfish won every time. Number 5. A Lethal Glow A defensive strategy for many animal species is to have vivid colors or patterns that warn off would-be predators. What if you spend much of your life in the dark as a nocturnal creature? Colors won't do much good in that kind of environment, so you'll have to put on a light show. That's what this species of millipede of the genus Motixia does. It has a bioluminescent glow to warn away predators, and predators will be smart to take heed. Why is that, though? Well, when they're disturbed, they ooze toxic cyanide and other foul-tasting chemicals from small pores running along the sides of their bodies as a defense mechanism. You should know by now that cyanide is one of the most toxic substances known to man. Heck, just a bit of it can kill a full-grown man. Glowing in the dark and oozing cyanide is certainly one of the more original defense mechanisms of the animal kingdom. Number 4. A Lethal Combination What if you want to use poison to defend against attackers but don't make any yourself? The boxer crab, also known as the pom-pom crab or cheerleader crab, came up with a clever solution. Boxer crabs pick up and carry around a tiny sea anemone in each claw. When disturbed, the crab will wave the anemones to warn off predators, but if the predator attacks, the anemones pack a powerful sting. It's a great way to keep attackers at bay, and the anemones benefit by becoming mobile and thus potentially gaining access to more food. But it's not like the anemones have much of a say about it anyway. Boxer crabs don't have to have the anemones to survive, and sometimes they'll use coral sponges instead. Number 3. A shocking offense is the best defense. The electric eel is, in my opinion, the most appropriately named animal ever, for obvious reasons. Electric eels are the only known animals that can generate its own electricity and use it for its own benefit. A fully grown electric eel will generate about 600 volts of electricity in short, intense bursts that last only about 2 milliseconds. This electrical charge comes from thousands of muscle cells that each create a tiny current. A 6-foot eel, for example, has about 6,000 muscle cells working together to generate those 600 volts, which is quintuple the voltage contained within a standard wall socket in the United States. Although the electric eel uses its shocking ability primarily for hunting, by stunning fish around it making them easier to catch, it does discharge a large voltage every time it feels threatened, which had fatal results in humans for a number of times. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And today we're going to look at two different animal defense mechanisms that are definitely effective. But are they deadly? Well, let's find out with number two. Blood and chemicals. First off, we have a lizard that shoots blood from its eyes. The Texas horned lizard is a scary looking creature. Brown, plump, and perfectly camouflaged in its native sandy environment. Its first line of defense is its spiky demeanor. If the sharp spikes and horns don't ward off predators, the lizard steps it up a notch and squirts a well-aimed stream of blood out of its eyes. The stream of blood, which can go as far as five feet, is mixed with a foul-tasting chemical that warns off predators. But this odd weapon comes at a cost. The lizard may release one-third of its total blood supply this way, amounting to 2% of its body mass. That's pretty disgusting, but is it deadly? It might be to the lizard at least, especially if it loses too much blood. Then we have the bomber deer beetle. This is another species that sprays a noxious substance, minus the drama of dying in the process. That's because in this case, it's an individual defense mechanism rather than one that benefits the colony. So dying in the process would defeat the purpose. The bomber deer beetle doesn't just spray something that smells bad like a stink bug. It takes a substance to a whole other level. Bomber deer beetles send a scouting hot chemical spray all over their attacker. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Blue Rings of Death 
The blue ringed octopus is a beautiful creature with its striking colors and blue circles. Also a returning member on our top 5 best deadliest list club. He may be beautiful, but often in the animal kingdom, beautiful often equates to deadly. And this is exactly the case with this animal. The colors and patterns are a clear warning. Don't touch or pay the price. The blue ringed octopus, despite its small size, carries enough venom to kill 26 adult humans within minutes. Their bites are tiny and often painless, giving bite victims a false sense of security. Oftentimes, victims have no idea that they've been bitten, and then the venom does its deadly work. It starts with respiratory depression, and then paralysis starts to set in. And when your entire body gets paralyzed, you know what soon comes after. To make matters even worse, no blue ringed octopus anti-venom is available. So if you get bitten by one of these deadly creatures out in the open ocean, you're pretty much doomed. Which deadly defense mechanism impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!